dog lick him in the face, so. I had uh, evictions from my house, medical bills, late bills, missed work, all that garbage. And also, he didn't decide to sue until my daughter broke up with him. Now, your No Wait 41 NBC AccuWeather forecast. Good evening and happy Wednesday. We are halfway through the weekend. We've kind of re-entered winter a little bit this evening. This is looking out right now in the 41 sky view from Coliseum Medical Centers in Macon, where temperatures hanging out right now at 56 degrees. So it feels pretty awful. We've also got the high humidity sitting at 90% and winds coming in around 17 miles per hour. So it is going to be staying chilly through the evening. We're still seeing a few isolated showers right now in areas of Baldwin County and Hancock County, as well as further to the south, closer towards Abbeville and McRae. All of this is going to be moving out overnight. We're going to keep just around a 20 to 30% chance for some showers, but check out some of these rainfall totals over the past 24 hours. Some places seeing over four inches of rain near Eastman, around 2.6 inches, around 3.2 closer to Roberta here in Macon. Not nearly that much rainfall, but the good news for all of us is that the rain is moving out. Bad news is it's going to be staying cold tonight. We're going to be dropping into the low 50s and 40s by early tomorrow morning. In high definition, this is 41 NBC News at 5. Good evening and thanks for joining us for 41 NBC News at 5. I'm Shelby Coates. To our top story tonight at 5, the Warner Robins Independence Day celebration is back this year. It was canceled last summer due to the pandemic, but this year city leaders say there's a lot to be excited about. The city will have several entertainment acts throughout the night on July 2nd. They include AJ the DJ, Leah Bell Fazer, Callista Clark, and the headliner for the night is Jimmy Allen. Mayor Randy Tom says during the celebration, the city will mark the 80th anniversary of Robbins Air Force Base and the 200th birthday for Houston County. Coming off of a, a global pandemic where we couldn't have it last year makes it even more exciting that we get to say we're back and we're doing this to celebrate so many things this year. And so it's just it's just so it's rich with excitement. Uh, the event is free. Doors will open at 5 p.m. on July 2nd. And of course, the fireworks show is part of the big event. The Warner Robins announcement comes as Georgia reports more than 500 new COVID-19 cases today. The latest update from the Georgia Department of Public Health shows 887,979 total cases since the start of the pandemic. And Georgia has seen 17,750 deaths related to COVID-19. In Middle Georgia, Bibb County has more than 13,300 cases. Houston County reports 10,136 total cases. And Baldwin County reports 3,850 cases. Happening now, the Bibb County School District is sharing how it plans to use federal pandemic relief funds it received from the American Rescue Plan. A public hearing for community input started moments ago at 5 p.m. The Bibb County School District received more than $100 million in funding. According to the district plan, funding will help accelerate student learning with free tutoring, hiring more staff to teach reading, and hiring more teachers to lower class sizes. The district is also considering block schedules for high schools and adjusting middle and high school start and end times. The public hearing again is happening now at the Professional Learning Center at 2003 Riverside Drive. New tonight, those gas station shortages across the southeast due to a cyber attack on the Colonial Pipeline are now starting to impact stations here in middle Georgia. While out today, we noticed several Macon stations with closed pumps and some reporting no gas at all. Now this is video from the Marathon gas station on Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard in downtown Macon. You can see bags over some of the pump handles and some stations posted signs that said no gas or they even zeroed out their prices. Well, to help with the gas station and the gas situation, Governor Brian Kemp has suspended the gas tax in the state to help slow rising gas prices. He also posted to Twitter saying his administration is working closely with Colonial. 
Governor Kemp signed an executive order Tuesday that will remain in effect through Saturday. That means Georgia's price gouging statutes are activated and businesses should not charge more for products and services like motor and diesel fuel. Across the nation, many Americans are paying more to fill up their vehicles. That's if they can find a gas station that has fuel. The hacking of the Colonial Pipeline is causing headaches for commuters, especially in the South and East Coast. CNN's Pete Newman has more. The latest problem caused by the Colonial Pipeline hack is panic at the pump with lines at some stations getting longer. The 5,500 mile pipeline supplies about 45% of all fuel used on the East Coast. Yeah, it looks like they just ran out. They charged me 11 cents. Even though experts say the rush is not necessary for now, the White House insists there are no widespread fuel shortages, but that has not stopped people from buying gas fast. Oil analysts tell CNN that will lead to more than a thousand stations running out of gas soon, with the biggest impacts in Georgia and Tennessee. On Monday, demand jumped 40 percent in five states from Florida to Virginia. It is a very serious problem right now. 84-year-old Bill Holtzman has spent his entire career distributing gas to stations in Virginia, but with the Colonial Pipeline mostly offline, Holtzman's trucks are now scrambling to fill up elsewhere. Holtzman says this Colonial Terminal in Fairfax, Virginia is now dry. Our goal is to not have any stations out of gasoline, and um, unfortunately, that's probably going to happen, and that really bothers me. AAA says the price of a gallon of gas has shot up more than seven cents in the last week. The new national average now more than two dollars 98 cents, the highest in six years. Oil analyst Tom Closa says with some stations now selling four times the norm, the national average will soon top three dollars. When everybody scrambles, it's like everyone scrambling to go through a revolving door. You have problems and we're seeing that behavior right now. It has spread like wildfire. It is a new damper on what the travel industry hoped would be the start of a rebound beyond just road trips. In Atlanta, the world's second busiest airport says it is looking for additional fuel suppliers. American Airlines is even adding stops to a few of its longer flights, unable to top off all the way. Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm calls this a supply crunch rather than a gas shortage. Is there um, was no cause for, say, hoarding toilet paper at the beginning of the pandemic. There should be no cause for hoarding gasoline. The EPA issued an emergency fuel waiver for 12 states impacted by the fuel shortage. Meanwhile, Colonial Pipeline has manually shipped nearly a million barrels of fuel to customers since Friday. Well, May 15th, which is this Saturday, is also known as Peace Officers Memorial Day. It's a day to honor law enforcement officers killed in the line of duty. Georgia Military College held its annual Peace Officers Memorial Day ceremony today. Law enforcement officers from the Milledgeville Baldwin County community came together to remember two alumni soldiers from the college. Deputy Will Robinson and Special Agent Sonny King both attended Georgia Military College. Today, a wreath was laid in their honor. Wakes up, put straps on their, their sidearm, and goes out to serve and protect. They're never sure what's going to happen. They're never sure if they're going to come home that evening the same way they left that morning. And so we just want to make sure they know we appreciate what they're doing for all of us. The college says it will continue holding this ceremony to remember all those who have sacrificed their lives while serving. Today, Macon Bibb County took down house number 21 in an effort to demo 30 blighted homes in 30 days. This morning, crews were out at Rosecrest Avenue to demolish a burnt home and clean up the area. Mayor Lester Miller says his 30 and 30 goal is on track to finish by May 24th. He says Macon Bibb has received complaints for hundreds of blighted homes over the years. Director of Code Enforcement JT Rickardson says once the 30 and 30 blight initiative is complete, the county does not plan to stop there. So I've got a whole nother list of almost 50 coming up that the mayor, we've already sent letters out. We've heard from some of the property owners and they're saying, hey, give me a minute. We're going to work on it. We're going to do something about it, which is great. That's what we want. 
um, but there's about 40 something we haven't heard from. If property owners do not respond to the warning letters, homes will go on the list for demolition. If you have a blighted home in your neighborhood, you can call code enforcement at 478-803-0470. And there's still more to come on 41 NBC News at 5. YouTube is taking on TikTok with the help of a $100 million fund. We'll have those details and other consumer headlines in the tech report. And we have been seeing a big cool down across middle Georgia, but rain typically coming to an end. This is looking out right now in the 41 sky view from the Houston County Galleria overlooking Center Park in Centerville. I've got more on what we're expecting heading into the end of our week coming up next. The Kelly Clarkson Show, weekdays at 3 on 41 NBC. If you're a Medicare beneficiary and live in the area, call now to see how this little card could get you some big benefits, including money added back to your Social Security check. With one toll-free call, you can find out how easy it is to get all of your original Medicare coverage, plus extra benefits. You get an all-in-one plan designed to fit your needs so you can be your best every day. You could have medical coverage, prescription drugs with $0 generics, dental, vision and hearing, plus the WellCare Visa Flex card, money for over-the-counter items, and money back in your Social Security check each month, and so much more. And here's more good news. You can get this WellCare plan for a $0 monthly premium. How can WellCare offer all of those benefits for a $0 monthly premium? It's simple. Medicare Advantage and Medicare Part D prescription drug coverage are important parts of Medicare. WellCare has a contract with Medicare to offer and provide these important options to you. Call right now to get your free copy of the WellCare All-in-One Guide. Call 1-855-225-1474 now. There is absolutely no obligation for requesting this free information. WellCare offers benefits that go beyond the basics, including up to $840 each year added to your Social Security check to help cover your Part B premium. Call today to get your free copy of the All-in-One Guide with absolutely no obligation. Your free plan guide will give you the details you need to make a smart choice for your Medicare coverage. Just call 1-855-225-1474. Remember, there's no obligation for requesting this free information. So call 1-855-225-1474. WellCare. Beyond health care, a better you. Now, your 41 NBC AccuWeather forecast. Presented by Bucky Holland Heating and Air. Welcome back. We are still tracking some showers across middle Georgia, although most of us dry for much of the rest of the evening. A little bit of light rain areas of Baldwin County and Hancock County, also further to the south in Wheeler and Telfair County, seeing some rainfall there. But no thunderstorms, nothing like that for this evening. Mostly it's just going to continue getting cold. And really what we have been seeing was a wedge front in action. So this is kind of a look at the past six hours or so. And once this starts the loop, you'll see we started out with those temperatures staying in the upper 60s. This right here pushed down. You can see it along that line right there and behind it. Temperatures cooled off very quickly into those middle 50s where many of us are right now. So it's all thanks to the wedge front and that's going to be sticking with us for the next couple of days. This is looking out right now in the 41 sky view courtesy Georgia United Credit Union in Dublin. Very breezy right now in Dublin and temperatures have been cooling off for the past couple of hours or so. 59 degrees right now still feels like 59, but we could be dealing with a wind chill overnight tonight. I also want you to notice that today we did make it to 70 degrees. That was at around 1145 this morning. This 58, our low temperature for today, that was around 330. And we're going to continue to see all of these temperatures falling. And it's not just us that that makes you feel better. It's most of the East Coast right here. 54 in Atlanta, 50 in Columbia, South Carolina, and 51 in Charlotte. That's a difference of almost 30 degrees between the past 24 hours. So it's a big cool down for us. We're going to continue to see it cooling down overnight tonight. However, clouds are going to stick with us for this evening as the rain moves out. So cloudy and cold for tonight, 54 degrees by 9 p.m., 53 degrees by around 11 p.m. And we'll be in the 40s by early tomorrow morning because it's all about that wedge just kind of sending in that cooler air. The good news is for tomorrow, we are going to welcome back some sunshine. A few showers possible, but other than that, sun is back through much of the day on Thursday and into Friday. We're talking about 
pretty much full sunshine as we get back into some middle 70s. So the warm up is going to be slow, but it's going to be there. Temperatures will be staying in the 40s for much of tomorrow morning. We get back into the low 60s and the main story right here is that we see the sunshine returning for much of Thursday into Friday afternoon. So uh, we're not going to be stuck in the clouds for that long. Now, as we are heading through the weekend, sunshine going to be sticking with us. It's going to be a really nice one to plan anything outdoors because we're going to be starting out in the 70s on Saturday. We'll get back into the 80s as we're moving into Sunday. Rain stays away pretty much until we hit Tuesday into Wednesday, and even then we're talking about some very spotty shower activity, but I'll go ahead and say that next week is looking very warm. We're talking about some mid 80s on the way for many of us as we are moving into the end of next week. We're also going to see a little bit of an increase in our humidity by the middle of next week, but other than that, we're talking about a pretty nice weekend once again on the way. In just 10 seconds, I'll look at our seven day forecast. Bucky Holland Heating and Air replaces more systems than anybody. Call today for a $45 service call or a free estimate. Bucky Holland Heating and Air and Carrier turn to the experts. And here's your 41 NBC AccuWeather 7 day forecast from Bucky Holland heating and air. We've got more lows in the 40s coming up as we head towards the weekend, but also highs will be warming up back to the upper 70s by Saturday 80s return for next week. Listen to the Fox FM, Georgia's greatest hits for news and weather from 41 NBC. Weather brought to you by Bucky Holland Heating and Air and Carrier. Turn to the experts. Introducing Butler Toyota's Smart Shop, our online buying tool that empowers your shopping experience. Getting started is simple. Just pick the vehicle you want and Smart Shop gives you several options, like assessing your trade-in value, personalizing your own payment, scheduling a test drive, or even filling out your paperwork. If you'd like to save your progress, all you have to do is create an account, and next time you log on, you'll be right where you left off. Have a question? Use our live chat feature on our website. We have attendants ready to help you 24-7. Get started today at Butler Toyota. Three can't-miss episodes of Wednesday's most-watched dramas. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This guy's a box of loose screws. Did you force him into surgery? Why would I risk my job? I can't believe only tennis test is finally here. His arm was all surrounded. You and Jay, how you would think. Does it matter? It sure as hell matters. An all-new Chicago Wednesday, tonight on NBC. I tried a laxative that's both gentle and fast. Great tasting Dolgalax Soft Chews works naturally with the water in your body in as little as 30 minutes. Puts you comfortably in control. Dolgalax Soft Chews. I'm Forrest Johnson with Forrest B. Johnson and Associates. If you've been involved in a car wreck or a truck wreck with a big truck or a car, the first and only call you should make is to Forrest B. Johnson and Associates. Let us take the worry out of handling your accident claim. Call Forrest B. Johnson and Associates. 478-257-6266. And make it. Call now. Car wreck, get a check. Truck wreck, get a check. Remember, don't hesitate. Call immediately. Call now. At Sardis Heard Funerals and Cremation Center, we offer the most affordable burial and cremation services. No matter what service people ask us to provide, we will do it at the highest quality and more reasonably priced than anybody else. Stop by to see our new facility, which is unlike any other funeral home. Well, welcome back. Target is launching its own plant-based food line, and it's part of the Good and Gather brand. The new plant-based additions will include non-dairy chocolate-flavored moose dip, crispy chicken tenders, the meat-free kind, and savory buffalo-style cauliflower wings, and more. In total, there are 30 plant-based products under this label. More of the items, or most of the items, are under $5. The new offerings will hit store shelves throughout the fall. YouTube puts $100 million into a TikTok rival and the Pentagon may ax its Jedi cloud computing contract with Microsoft. Here's Shane King with today's tech report. 
The Pentagon may pull its $10 billion cloud computing Jedi defense contract with Microsoft. According to the Wall Street Journal, the contract has been swamped with litigation from Amazon since Microsoft was awarded it in 2019. The contract was to store and manage sensitive military and defense data. Well, eBay will now permit NFT sales from approved sellers on its site, and they do plan to expand the pool of sellers in the future. Prior to today, selling on eBay was limited to physical items, with some exceptions. The users can now buy digital tokens on the e-commerce giant's platform. Well, YouTube said it's starting a $100 million fund for creators of video shorts, a company's feature that rivals TikTok. YouTube is opening the fund to any video maker on the site who follows its guidelines. Many YouTubers have failed to get a consistent audience and have left the site or shifted to produce more often on TikTok and Instagram. And Apple said it rejected almost a million apps that were submitted to its app store last year. The disclosure comes as Epic Games' antitrust trial against Apple is focused on the app store failures. Well, Apple argues that having a system where the company approves each of the 1.8 million apps on the store, and they also check the updates of those apps, it can keep iPhone users safe from scams, malware, and poor quality user experiences. From New York, I'm Jane King with your tech report. 9.95 at my age? 9.95. No way. 9.95? That's impossible. Hi, I'm Jonathan, a manager here at Colonial Penn Life Insurance Company to tell you it is possible. If you're age 50 to 85, you can get life insurance with options starting at just $9.95 a month. Okay, Jonathan, I'm listening. Tell me more. Just $9.95 a month for Colonial Penn's number one most popular whole life insurance plan. There are no health questions to answer and there are no medical exams to take. Your acceptance is guaranteed. You can't be turned down because of your health, even if you have health problems or take medication. Guaranteed acceptance? I like guarantees. Keep going. And with this plan, your rate is locked in for your lifetime, so it will never go up. Perfect if you're on a fixed budget. Sounds good to me, but at my age, I need the security of knowing it won't get canceled as I get older. This is lifetime coverage as long as you pay your premiums. It can never be canceled. So you get lifetime security. And for extra peace of mind, you also have a 30-day money-back guarantee. So don't wait. Call now for free information. You'll also get this free beneficiary planner. Use this valuable guide to record your important information and give helpful direction about your final wishes to your loved ones. And it's yours free. It's our way of saying thank you just for calling. So call now. Don't wait. Operators are standing by. Call now for free information and your free gift. Call 1-800-974-1622. 1-800-974-1622. Take the first step and lock in your lifetime rate for just $9.95 a month. Call 1-800-974-1622. 1-800-974-1622. Call now. Oh, welcome back in Houston County. Now the public library system now has a backpack to help you explore the outdoors. Each branch has a Georgia State Parks Discovery backpack now available for checkout. The backpack comes with binoculars and three guide, uh, three pocket guides for trees, birds and wildlife. You can check out the backpack for a week with your library card. The Nola Brantley Memorial Library Manager says the backpack is a great educational tool for you and your kids. They can go and explore outdoors, go use their pocket guides, look around for the different animals, um, and it, it works really good with, with our theme. So just to get outside for the summer. I like it. Well, the backpacks are not specific to Houston County and they're available throughout the Pines library system. You can also have the ability to check out a park pass that gives you access to certain state parks in Georgia.